All right, we are live on Zoom and it appears we are live on Facebook. Let me get back to Zoom so I can see my chat window. And um, hello and welcome everybody. Happy Wednesday. We, we made it to the home. Yay! <laughs> so it's been a busy day for me and a busy week. So I'm ready to uh, decompress and talk about some essential oils for spring. So uh, spring is peaking. It's a lovely little head um, out in some areas of the country right now. I know some areas just got socked by some snow. So, um, but down in the south, in Atlanta especially, um, we are coming into pollen season. So if you've ever lived or know anybody that's lived in the Atlanta area, um, I lived there for 25 years before moving to North Carolina last year. Um, the pollen is unbelievable. It's like nothing I've seen anywhere ever before. So, um, I forgot to plug my headset in and that helps with my audio a little bit. Let me do that real quick. Use the interruption. All right. So hopefully that will, um, help with the sound quality. So, so yeah, so, uh, Pollen season in the South is treacherous. It looks like a yellow covering um, of everything. It gets on the creeks and the lakes and the streams and the cars, and you could write your name on the car and the pollen. And so um, we really want to talk tonight about how to support your body, no matter where you are and when spring hits at your house and um, whatever is blooming affects you. So um, essential oils are also great for spring cleaning and um, in a non-toxic, healthy way. So we're going to talk a little bit about that. And then um, bring in those spring smells into the house, you know, the, the flowers that are blooming that we want to bring into the house and maybe the, the smell of just nature outdoors, grasses, trees, um, you know, what it smells like when you walk through a grassy meadow in the springtime. We want to be able to bring all those beautiful fragrances into our home in a healthy way. And the only way to bring healthy fragrance into your home is pure essential oils like doTERRA. So, um, and what else? We're going to talk about um, how to not let the bugs kind of ruin your day when you are out and about in the summer months. So, um, like I said, pollen season in the South can be a disaster. And that's why you want to make sure you have lots of lavender oil on hand. So lavender oil, we know it calms us down. It smells amazing. Mm, we love to get that aroma on our body into our home. But what you may not know about lavender when we're talking about supporting our bodies through pollen season is there are naturally occurring chemical compounds in lavender that shut down the histamine reaction in the body. So how cool is that? So, um, you know, let's say I'm allergic to grass and I go outside and I cut the grass. By the time I come back in the house, that histamine reaction in my body has kicked in and I might be miserable. So if I take my lavender oil and I rub it across my chest and up my throat and neck and smell it from my hands and maybe wear it on my wrist, put it in my diffuser, it's gonna help my body to shut down that histamine reaction, um, which is amazing. So another oil that's great for uh, pollen season is lemon essential oil. So Lemon mixed with lavender is a beautiful fragrance. It smells a lot like, you know, spring flowers and springtime. But what it does when it works together for pollen season is it, um, the lavender shuts down the histamine reaction. And then the lemon, because it's so super cleansing, it gets that allergen out of my system. So put these in the diffuser. Breathe this in before and after you have your histamine reacting activity that you're doing, and you will be amazed at how well this works. So my allergies always come with a runny nose. So I'm blowing my nose, I'm sneezing, I'm sniffling. Um, some people get congested with allergies. So 
I recommend for those people that we add peppermint into the mix because peppermint opens the airways, helps our breathing to be easier, um, you know, really um, unclogs anything clogged in the nose or the sinuses. So when we use these three oils together, we've got the histamine reaction being shut down. We've got the lemon helping cleanse the allergen out of the system. And we have peppermint um, opening up our airways, right? So we've got all those three things working for us. And guess what? These three powerful little oils come in uh, an introductory kit. This is the outer, um, the outer wrapper for the kit. But this little three-piece set, um, five, three five milliliter bottles to do everything that I just said and about a thousand other things, um, is only $20 for these three little um, oils. You can also get this set in uh, a five mil or sorry, 15 milliliter size. So it comes in same three oils, but three times the oil. So 15 milliliters versus five milliliters. So what that does is um, just gives you more for just a little more than, gives you three times the oil for a little more than twice the price. So definitely a better deal. If your family is bothered, bothered in pollen season, if you think this is a trio you're gonna use a lot, this these two versions of the introductory kit are awesome. So um, this combination is so powerful internally that doTERRA actually put it into the gel cap. And this is called Tri-Ease. And these are in my medicine cabinet. So this is open. I'm gonna flip the little flip top and I'm gonna show you, um, they are soft gels, obviously, because they're filled with essential oil. They're not very big. They're kind of skinny and a little bit longer. Um, I've had kids as small as six, seven, eight years old swallow these. And um, it's going to give you like a lot of the upsides of some of the over the counter medication without the side effects, because the only thing in this gel cap is lemon, lavender, and peppermint essential oil. Nothing that's gonna make you drowsy, nothing that's gonna make your head feel like it's crawling with a million bugs. That's what over the counter medication does to me. It makes me just wanna scratch my head or it makes me wanna take a nap. And neither of those things is really something I wanna do. So I was super excited when I found this too, because um, I don't have to worry about taking it, you know, did I eat? Do I need to take it with an empty stomach? Um, I haven't had lunch yet, but I want, I want this to kick in. It's okay. I mean, it's always best to take anything essential oil based internally with some food, just to give it something for um, it to emulsify with in the stomach but it's not gonna upset your stomach or make you feel nauseous or anything like that. It's actually got peppermint oil in it. So it's really soothing to the, to the stomach. So love this gel cap, $20 for, um, let's see, how many is in here? 60, 60 soft gels. So if you're taking two a day, it's a one month supply for 20 bucks. Also less expensive than the stuff at the grocery store and the, and the pharmacy as well. So give these a try. Severe pollen affected people, I say take one in the morning with your morning meal and take one after lunch. Um, I personally do not take these in the evening because they have peppermint oil in them and I don't want them to keep me awake at night. I do know people who aren't affected by peppermint internally, like they can be affected by peppermint aromatically. So that brings me to um, another point is if you want to diffuse this combination in the evening, replace the peppermint with spearmint because spearmint will have the same um, ability to open your airways, but it won't stimulate you like peppermint will. So spearmint kind of is um, a milder version of peppermint. Think of it like that. So if you've got little kids and you don't want peppermint oil for them because it's so fierce, um, Spearmint's a great substitution for that. So if you need to take the combination and you don't want to take it with peppermint, you want to take it with spearmint, you're going to have to make your own gel cap. Super easy to do. Buy the veggie caps from doTERRA. 120 of them is like $4. Um, and just put a drop of lemon, a drop of lavender, and a drop of spearmint oil in your own gel cap and take that. And you can take those at night with absolutely no bearing on... Um, on falling asleep or staying asleep. So 
back to what I was saying about um, not taking these at night. So I know people that take these right before bed with no issue. So everybody's different. Everybody reacts differently to things. So you just try it and see what's best for you. So that is um, what we have to support your body and your family through pollen season. So I know a lot of people that use this regimen. It works amazingly well. Um, and why suffer, right? So why struggle with, you know, feeling itchy eyes, runny nose, stuffy nose, whatever affects you. Um, you know, let's do this. You can, again, you can wear the lavender topically. I don't recommend people wear the lemon topically uh, because lemon can increase UV sensitivity. We're gonna talk about that more um, a little later. But so if you're gonna use it topically, I would use the lavender and the peppermint, um, especially because you're gonna be outside. So, um, or take the gel cap. So awesome, awesome. Make sure those are in your LRP the next time you order. So, um, see what were we going to talk about next oh spring cleaning yay spring cleaning so everybody loves to open the windows and scrub down the house for spring right so especially after the winter we've had um you know we're worried about the crud and everything so um spring is a great time to clean up your cleaning products so if you're still using chemical based toxic house cleaning products um with big scary words on the label that you know you can't even pronounce. Let's look at replacing those with essential oil-based products because guess what? Essential oil-based products are amazing for cleaning, disinfecting, killing bacteria. They're awesome and there's no negative side effects because they're pure and they're from these beautiful plants. So on guard, we all talked about on guard all winter long, right? And we're still talking about it for um, virus protection and, and for just supporting your system um, through any viral threats. That's a better way for me to say it. Um, on guard makes a cleaner concentrate. So I don't have a bottle because I just used mine and I threw away the recycled the bottle, but I, um, I have one on order, but it's a, I think it's a 16 ounce bottle and it is concentrated. So you make spray bottles worth of cleaning solution with it, with just a teaspoon. You make a bucket of uh, gallons of water to clean your floor with for pennies a bucket. Um, it's plant-based, it's non-toxic, chemical-free, it has the On Guard essential oil in it, and it does an amazing job cleaning your entire house. So if you don't have On Guard cleaner concentrate yet, and you've got oils like tea tree, lemon, wild orange, um, even eucalyptus is really good for cleaning countertops. Um, these are all oils that you can just mix with water or you can mix with vinegar and water. Um, you can put a little baking soda in the mix if you wanna scour something and it's non-toxic, it smells amazing. Um, I challenge you to just take a bowl full of water out of your tap, put a few drops of lemon essential oil in it, throw a cleaning rag in there, swoosh it around, wring it out, wipe down everything in your bathroom. It'll take you just a few minutes, it smells amazing, and the bacteria and the germs are gone. Um, and, and it's not toxic. So, you know, I used to, uh, clean my bathroom with my, you know, head and my shirt because I don't want to inhale all this toxic fumes from my cleaners. And now I can smell my cleaners because they're all essential oils and they're actually good for me. So they're boosting my mood and just making me happy while I'm cleaning. So how many things can you say that about? So, um, so try that. And then when you love it, get you some uh, glass spray bottles from Amazon or Whole Foods or somewhere glass spray bottles, but again, fill it with half water, half witch, witch hazel, maybe half water, a little bit of vinegar, put some essential oils in there, play with it, make the mix you like the smell of the best, shake it up, spray it on your, on your counters or your floors or, you know, whatever, your toilet seat, wherever you want it. And you're going to love how it cleans your house. And again, 
you're spending pennies compared to these expensive toxic chemical cleaners that you just have to, you know, store and and replenish your supply of every time you go to the store and things like that versus just having these cute little essential oil bottles that could do so many things. So all right, so that's cleaning. So again, to bring these wonderful smells of spring into your home, I love diffusing um, oils like lavender, like geranium, um, ylang ylang, rose. These are all beautiful florals that just smell like the flower garden has come into your house. Um, I personally like to add a couple drops of citrus, either lemon or grapefruit or lime um, to my florals because I don't really personally care for the heavy floral fragrance of some of the of some of the essential oils like geranium and ylang ylang those are super heavy for me so I throw a little citrus oil in there in the diffuser with it and it really brightens up the aroma it just kind of lightens and brightens it and again makes me happy and floral oils emotionally are all very comforting so again, who couldn't use that in today's crazy world, right? So you've got oils that are comforting and oils that are uplifting together in the diffuser. They smell amazing. You're supporting your emotions. You're bringing these healthy fragrances into your homes. So try it. It's awesome. Um, I also love diffusing balance. His balance smells like a walk in the woods shortly after it's rained to me. Um, citrus Bliss is the citrus, but... It's um, got some vanilla in it too. So it smells really nice. Um, add a little lavender to that, you know, just mix and match, do what makes you happy. So that's what I love about essential oils is there's no, there's no wrong way to do anything. So um, you're not gonna hurt yourself or mix two oils that, you know, create a toxic mess or anything like that. You can just do what you love. Um, so, I'm really hoping that doTERRA brings back the citrus bloom um, springtime blend that they launched last year. And um, they did a full line of personal care products with it. So cross your fingers with me, say your little prayer, and um, hope that they have the ability with all the supply chain issues we've had through the last year, um, that maybe we can get the deodorant, body wash, and the hand wash, and the lotion, um, I loved every bit of it. And especially the oil. I love, love, love diffusing that oil, the citrus bloom. So if that comes back, you're going to hear me shouting it from the rooftops because it's my very favorite. So I will keep you posted. Um, okay, let's talk about critters and pest control. So what's the worst thing that we can do is be all excited after we've been stuck in the house all winter and we get outside and we're enjoying the outdoors and the bugs start biting, right? So I am a mosquito magnet. They love me. They love the way I taste. Um, I say my blood type is O delicious. So um, Terra Shield, if you're not familiar with the Terra Shield blend, it is an amazing deterrent. Um, it's called the outdoor blend because we use it when we go outside. So it comes in a 15 milliliter and it comes in a one ounce spray, which is 30 milliliters. So um, you can diffuse it. You can diffuse it in your, on your patio or your screen porch. Maybe if the no Sams are getting through the screens, um, works great for that. You know, it's diffusing into the air and it's deterring the pests. Um, you can use the spray bottle. It can just spritz it and on your exposed skin. It's safe for children. I would, um, for little, little kids and babies, I would definitely increase the dilution. So maybe cover the littlest ones with coconut oil first and then spray it in your hand and kind of put another layer over their exposed skin. You can rub it on their clothes, put it on, you know, around the car seat, um, anywhere that it's not touching them, you can use it straight. Um, but if it is touching their skin, again, if they're little bitty babies, toddlers, you're definitely gonna wanna increase the dilution of even the spray. So the spray is diluted. So other than these tiny littles, the spray is ready to go. So another kind of um, tip that I love to share with people in the summer is, um, again, coming from Atlanta, the mosquitoes can be just fierce, um, overwhelming. Um, 
especially if it's humid, like it's just rained and my friends are having an outdoor dinner party and everybody's smacking mosquitoes off themselves. So here's my insider tip. Take your TerraShield spray bottle, open the lid, put about 10 drops of peppermint oil in that, shake it all together to mix it up. And now you kind of spike the TerraShield spray with the peppermint oil. And that's really gonna take the bug deterrent level up a notch. So that is an amazing way to not be bugged when you're outside during springs and summer, especially in the evenings, you know how it kind of turns into the witching hour at dusk and the mosquitoes just go nuts. Um, this will keep them away. So um, I made up my little spiked tear shield mix for a friend of mine who was going to a Saturday night dinner party um, in Atlanta last year and it had rained and she was dreading it um, and the bugs didn't bite her, so it works. So um, again, just be careful with the little ones um, with the tear shield spray. And I would say spray it on your hand because you know you really can't control, especially with the babies where their hands are flailing and, and things like that. So, and if they're hand suckers or thumb suckers, don't put it where they're gonna put it in their mouth. Um, and just, you know, be mindful of at that age, they're kind of sticking everything in their mouth. So um, just, just be, be cautious with it, but it will work. So, um, and then while we're talking about safety, I wanna go back and revisit how some of the citrus essential oils can increase your UV sensitivity. So let me say exactly what I mean by that. So if I am using lemon oil, let's say, I wanna apply lemon oil topically to me for some reason. If I put this lemon oil on my arm and I go outside and my arm is exposed to the sun, my UV sensitivity on that area where I have rubbed the citrus oil has increased, the sensitivity has increased. So I'm gonna get a sunburn on this arm if I rub a citrus oil on it and go out in the sun. If I rub citrus oil on my exposed skin and I go sit on the beach, I'm gonna get a sunburn. So don't do that. So it's fine to use citrus oils where the sun is not touching your skin. However, if you're wearing shorts, don't put citrus oil on your legs. You know, some people like to put grapefruit in their body lotion and rub it on their legs. That's great. Just don't do that for the 12 hours before you're going into the sun. So if you know you're going to the beach tomorrow or you know you're going to the pool or you know you're going to your kid's baseball game, do not put your, your citrus oils on your skin that is going to be touched directly by the sun. So you can still drink your lemon oil. You can put your grapefruit oil on your belly if you're wearing a shirt that's covering your belly. Um, exposed skin and citrus oils in the sun increases UV sensitivity. It's that simple. So, all right. Well, happy spring. I know it's not quite here yet. It's St. Patrick's Day. Oh gosh, I forgot to say happy St. Patrick's Day. So, um, so get your green oils out and um, have some luck of the Irish. So I do have green on somewhere. That's all I'm going to say. <laughs> so have a great night. Um, if you have any questions, as always, you can hit me up in the comments. I'm going to um, just check the chat really fast. Okay, nothing there, nothing there. All right, I want to let y'all have a great evening and I will see you in a couple weeks. Take care.